Welcome to episode nine of Page Y Interviews, Cambridge graduates. It's the final instalment. We are going to be rating being a Cambridge student out of 10 and also finding out what's next for my friends as they head out into the big wide world. Rate being a Cambridge student out of 10. 11. Wow. Whoa. I didn't even think about that. No, it's all of all of the people in the comments are going to be like, you clearly didn't do science. You can't have eleven out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> but if you'd asked me as a student, I might have been like seven. But rose tinted glasses, yeah. Seven point three. Very precise. Yeah, well, it's not quite an eight. It's not quite a seven. So okay, it's seven point three. Point three, close to a seven. Then. Yeah, then an eight. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. I give it like. A uh, strong seven, light eight, I think, out of ten. Okay. You know, it's good. It's good fun, but there's a lot of work as well, so yeah. pros and cons. Yeah. A solid seven. I'd say that if you're doing a subject that you enjoy, it's say it's good, like about ten out, say ten out nine, ten out of ten. I think if you get have good friends, which I certainly did, mine ten out of ten. But um, just like the whole experience together can be quite overwhelming, so <laughs> that's why I bring it down to a, a seven. Nine and a ten. Combine those together, and it's a seven. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I would say. 10 out of 10 but that's kind of unrealistic because Cambridge isn't like this wonderful magical academic paradise that perhaps a lot of people in A levels like kind of say it as so I'd probably say a solid 8 out of 10. I think it got better as it went on for me really. I think the first year it was maybe like a 5 out of 10. I really enjoyed the work side of things and I really enjoyed the traditions but it was kind of hard getting settled in. It felt a bit weird at first, it was kind of a stressful year. By the time I got to third year, I think it was like an eight out of ten, maybe even a nine. Like just living in a house with like all the all the best friends that I'd accumulated and <laughs> started to live with from over the years. That's when we met Hannah and Harrison, who are people from the year below us that we got that we moved in with. Third year was like an eight or a nine definitely. And I think that it definitely changes the experience changes with the people you meet and it become, I think it definitely got better for me. I think overall keep a solid seven point five. Whoa. That's above, above average. average. <laughs> Ed rates Cambridge out of 10 of 5. Will you stay in touch with students and academics you met at Cambridge? Ah, is, is that one question or two? Because I'm going to stay in touch with students and academics. <laughs> like maybe, maybe if we have like a reunion and like a, happen to bump into like my old director of studies and I'll say, oh hello, how's it going? But I really don't think I'll like keep in, make an effort to keep in touch with them. Yeah. Friends on the other hand, of course, I made, made, made loads of like good friends at university and definitely keep in touch with a lot of them. Yeah, I think so. Uh, some of the students I actually came quite good friends with in the end, so yeah, I, I might stay in touch with them. Yeah, a lot of academics. I follow a lot of academics on Twitter. A couple of them are following me back. Um, oh, friends for life there. I know, friends for life. We're actually <laughs> Twitter mutuals, so we're basically <laughs> married. And obviously I'm going to stay in contact with my friends. Um, as you can tell, I'm in Cambridge today, for example, mm -hmm. to see friends. Yes, <laughs> I will. Good to hear. Obviously, like, my friends and stuff that I've met, that's, that'll be the main one. And then also, like, the people I've met during my research project, I hope to stay in touch with. My PI, Dr. Alex Tom, shout out. <laughs> he was, yeah, he was really great. All my my day-to-day -day supervisor who I had. Yeah, I think it'd be really nice to touch, stay in touch with both of them guys. I think we're, I think we're actually going punting, like, sometime soon with my Are research group. Yeah. <laughs> it should be quite fun. <laughs> it is kind of different at Cambridge. Like, I feel like, especially in my first few years and now this last year, my research project, there's much more of like an interaction between student and teacher than I ever had at school. Like you just know them like more as kind of more as equals than you ever did at school. So you know you'd always have these like Natsuki parties and stuff, and you'd just be like like eating and drinking and just having a good time with your actual professors. And it's like kind of weird having that dynamic, but it's really yeah, it's really different to school, and it's really fun to have that. So like you know all these dosses and stuff that I've actually got like lecturing me for some subjects I'm then just going to like a party with in the evening and it's like okay <laughs> <laughs> wow this is really weird but I kind of but then you just forget that they're your lecturer and you should have a good time yeah I've got friends who are doing what do you mean by academics though there's friends I'd keep in contact with like academics maybe it might be, be relevant for my job I don't know. yeah like anyone who's worked at the university I guess taught you my DOS was nice but I might only stay in contact if he's got any advice for a young graduate. They're a mentor. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Well, I'm definitely going to keep in touch with you guys. Thank goodness. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine my life without you guys now. And definitely professors as well. Like, I was so close to my professors. 
like as I, I said just before like I bumped into one of my my director of studies in college just this week and he said oh come in come meet me for a coffee I'd love to know how you're doing let's have a catch-up like that's just the sort of culture it is and I definitely can see myself dropping like emails to them like this is where I'm at now come to my wedding <laughs> like, you know that sort of thing yeah I just I really loved the professors yeah. I had here um can I, can I think of my answer for that um what's saying it's touch for students and academic what is in touch really Staying in contact. I don't. I don't know. Like, will you, I mean, will you ever speak to them ever again? I don't know. You don't know. I don't know that. It's up in the air, everyone. <laughs> the way life goes, you know. Sometimes, like you plan to do things, things just go off the road. Sometimes rail. you just go to Vienna and just lose contact with all, all the previous <laughs> family and friends. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> it's yeah. person. I would definitely like to, but you know, sometimes like life happens, you know. So. Okay. Yeah, but the question was like, you do, you, would you keep in touch with students? Oh, we're students. Are you just going to cut us off as soon as? No, you students and academics was the. Yeah. We're, yeah. Well, we're after after we're still students. It's an and, not an all. Wow, you've just lost all your friends there. So. Yeah. I, no, I said I'd like. I said I'd like to. <laughs> I'd like to keep in contact with us, but if there's any mild inconvenience, <laughs> then he won't. Then he won't bother. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. Oh no, I forgot about you guys. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, what's next? I have a job. Uh, it's a technical consultancy role. I'm going to do science for a living. Yeah, baby. A nice summer working in the pub, a bit of rowing, drinking lots of pims, and a master's at Cambridge starting in September. Ooh. Ooh. I've got a few things that I could I could do. I could be working in data analysis, but um, I don't know if I'll like it yet, so I'll kind of try before you buy that. I might be doing a PhD abroad in um, biochemistry, kind of expanding what I did in my project, making uh, drugs against uh, certain uh, certain diseases, certain bacteria, and I'm really looking forward to possibly doing that. I have a graduate job in a company in London, and I'm going to be a software developer. So I guess like Paige, I'm doing something that kind of doesn't directly use my degree, but uh, certainly a lot of the skills that I've learned in my degree uh, is definitely applicable to it. Uh, definitely going to really help in my career. And I don't really know what's going to, what the future holds after that. Just going to do a grad job and kind of play by ear from there. Yeah. Uh, doing programming, computer science, bit of cryptography work. Finally got to the computer science. Oh After yes. all that time I know. Making, well, you switched to it. That's enough of physics. <laughs> yeah. We've got some new opportunities on the horizon in my life next, but you'll just have to stay tuned to find out. Well, the short answer is, and this pointy answer is that I'm not sure yet. I'm kind of just seeing what happens at the moment. I'm gonna, over the next few weeks, start looking for jobs. I'm thinking about doing some sort of technical scientific consultancy like Ed, but I'd be open to a few things. I think I want to try going into the working world before doing any more academic stuff at the moment. I'd be d open to doing a PhD later because I like academia, but you know, this year has definitely kind of drained me <laughs> at the moment. I think I definitely need to get out of it for at least a bit. So many options. I know. The world is your oyster. Oh, yes. <laughs> and I love seafood. <laughs> and I think I would give being a Cambridge student a solid 9 out of 10. I definitely grew in confidence while at university and getting the chance to try out so many new things was just amazing. But minus one for the workload. And if we include my rating in the ratings, then the average rating is... Ta-da! And of course I am planning on keeping in contact with my friends. We aren't going to be seeing each other as often, but they are definitely people who I want to make an effort to keep in contact with. I also definitely plan on returning to formals at my old college and hopefully seeing my old director of studies and the master of the college. And if you've been watching my channel, you will know what I've been up to since graduating. I work in the insurance industry as a trainee actuary. All of the crew have managed to secure grad jobs or future routes of study and our Cambridge degrees have definitely set us up with a good work ethic. I'm not sure any of our crew have made it to a 100k salary yet. If they have, they've kept it very quiet. But who knows for the future? I think we all dream big and maybe we'll get there. And that rounds up this series. Thank you so much for watching. We really enjoyed filming it and I hope it's been helpful. I hope it's been insightful. I hope you've enjoyed getting to know all of my friends and seeing what they're up to these days. Please let us know in the comments if you enjoyed the series. Like it, subscribe to the channel for more graduate life stuff. Follow me over on my Instagram. It's at underscore page underscore Y. And if you missed any of the earlier episodes, they are all on my channel. I will link the playlist here. And that's it. Let's sign off here. Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Okay. Oh, get help. Good. <laughs> yeah. Love you, fans. Bye. Bye. Thank you. That's it, everyone. <laughs> Say goodbye to us. Last time you'll see him, apparently. So. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>